right, let's roll. And off to get in the Ford F250 Lariat Super Duty, the Black Ops edition by Tuscany. It's a mouthful. But it is a Monday morning. So, rewind, Black Ops edition. Man, braces suck when you're 42. Like an idiot. So I'm gonna take her through her paces. I'm not gonna really push her too hard. The whole point of my channel is to have fun. If you suffer from insomnia, I'm a curate. Oh my God, there's a halo over my head. You caught my e-cig. I know I am a picture of health. Oh, let's get ready to rumble. This thing is a beast. Side note, that is about the seventh take. Who gives a shit? Give it a little kind of review. I'm not, I'm not gonna be one of these guys that, oh, welcome to the Ford F250 Super Duty with a six point supercharge in your blah. Nope, not me. Just here to relax, be myself, have a bit of fun and let you guys see some of the cars that I'm gonna drive. And test this beep. I said beep. Okay. If you've ever had braces, just catch my lips, spit gets in here. It's a pain in the shit. <laughs> now that I got that out of the way, let's get back to it. Oh wow, that was a really nice Audi. Flying down the expressway. Don't hold me to this, but I think Tuscany is a company based out of Nashville, Tennessee. They do amazing work with rigs. I don't know if they do anything other than the Fords, but I will say this, I'm dropping the hammer. Whoa, feel that power! No faster than 60 mile an hour, people. Oh, damn! Let's obey the law here. Oh, shit, boy! We don't want to make life difficult for traffic police or police in general. Thin blue line, thanks for your service, guys. You know, if you get pulled over, just do what you're told. You mightn't agree with it, okay? You mightn't agree with it. They may be wrong, but I've never met anyone who's just done what they're told, been polite, and had a horrific experience. No, actually, that's not true. I need to take that back. Oh, snap. I So got some buttons here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. But a very spacious interior. Very spacious. So, a beautiful sized moonroof. Yes, it doesn't encompass the rear because if you're in economy class, you get stuffed. A subdued American flag. Black Ops by Tuscany. He's looking a bit worse for wear. Anyway, let's come around to the back. Critical thinking, the other national deficit. This is not a political vlog. All right guys, just waiting for the Coast Guard to come and get me down. I'm higher than Joe Cocker right now. Ooh. Let's take this thing for a ride, shall we? Get that air cranking. Sweating like a baboon's ass in mating season. 93 degrees here. Man, I love the space in this thing, I tell you. I really love the space. Everything is typical Ford, in typical Ford fashion. Nothing is over the top, which for a truck like this, I actually like. I'm not like a huge Ford fan, I'm just not. But, there are certain Ford models that I love. So let's see what the old girl's got. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 baby! Time. Shit, she goes. No speed limits are broken, people. I mean, it's got some go, let me tell you, for a big truck. No idea what the hell that roadkill was. Sound-wise, the vehicle's not too bad. For a big vehicle, say for a long drive, it's not that droning sound that you expect from a big diesel engine, a big turbo diesel engine. And this does have the long-range fuel tank anywhere between 700 and 1,000 miles if you want to take a road trip across the country. One stop and you're there. <laughs> That's crazy. There's a bit of float. It's gonna take a little while for the steering input to translate on the road. It's quite comfortable. I don't feel like 
I'm impeded in any way by the size. The, the Ford F-250 Super Duty Lariat Black Ops Tuscany Edition, actually, other than it being a horrific mouthful to say each time, is actually quite a nice vehicle to drive. Um, it's not obnoxious. For a off-road vehicle, the interior suits exactly what the car was designed for. Now we're going to do a little bit of a brake check down here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to stop in a huge hurry, but then again, when you've got a 6,000 pound truck, don't quote me on that, but she's got to be all a 6,000 pound. The things that I do like, other positives about this truck are the mirrors. Now, yeah, they're as big as a bathroom mirror, but who gives a crap? All right, back to the, how you going, love? Call me. Yep, my truck. Ugh. Yep, my big uh, F-250. Call me, darling. Uh, back to the vlog, because that's why you're watching. Look, if, you, if you're getting the gist, I'm not too serious. Life is short, you want to live. I'm going to have a bit of fun with all the cars that I present you all. Oh, crikey, have a look at that. What the hell is that thing? I know you just heard that. There's a, there's a guy in a big truck. Hey, buddy. Truckies saying good day to each other. Yep, trucky one, trucky two. Roger that, mate. There you going. You know when you have a car, certain car people are real snobby. Like, they're like, look, I get it a bit in the Range Rover. I'm not a snob, but I get all the Range Rover people going, Top of the morning. Uh, hello, chappy. There's another Range Rover. Anyway, I guess the same can be said about trucks, big trucks. Like, Ugh, I'm in a big truck. And we kind of acknowledge each other. Oh, look, I'm going past the building site now, fellas. Shit, almost ran off the bloody road then. That's all I need is to wreck skinny. It's go time. Yeehaw! Oh, Damn, this thing gets up and boogies. Man, I just took the on-ramp, and man, I've got like bloody Dukes of Hazard right there. It's kicking some ass. Oh. So the indicator stayed on for a while then. Pulled on to the expressway, looking like the shiz, and then you leave your indicator on, and it makes you look like an idiot. God, how embarrassing. Oh no, i got to get away from these people. I don't want them to know who I am. Use your indicator and then turn the damn thing off. Don't want to make a fool of yourself after making such a grand entrance. Back to the vlog. Oh, time to hydrate, people. Oh, oh my God. Holy shit. I'm dropping the hammer, people. And your trim. So you've got beautiful carbon fiber trim in the car. You've even got it on the wheel, ladies and gentlemen. My fellow homo sapiens, I'm getting a message from above. So your instrument cluster is very simple. Like I said, very easy, on off, press button, connecting your phone, your power, entertainment. Holy crap, MacGyver. Standard phone, navigation, time, traction, downhill button. This is traction control off, two wheel drive high, four wheel drive high, four wheel drive low. 12 volt outlet, that's fantastic, good for you. Trailer hitch release, your auxiliary one through four. You've got your climate control right here. Passenger, driver is separate. Media, You're nothing to see people, nothing to see. So you've got heated and air conditioned seats, love it. Driving the ship, and when I say ship, I mean you are driving this ship. Captain! Headlights, very simplistic. <laughs> okay, one of the biggest selling points. One, two, three, four freaking cup holders in the middle console. So I know we really didn't get to look at the suspension of this thing, but it is bad to the bone. Sway bars, crikey. Somewhere under here is the long range fuel tank. <gasps> there it is. That, that is a huge ass fuel tank. I'll, I'll snap there is the F off horn. <laughs> we didn't test the horn because I don't want to piss the neighbors off. 
There you have it in the Ford F-250 Super Duty Lariat Black Ops Edition by Tuscany. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to smash the crap out of that like button and subscribe.